Depression starts with the letter D. So this morning, I sent one of my employees home. Why did I send her home? Because she was not feeling well. Why was she not feeling well? Because it is that time of year. She's not depressed, but she is not well. And she needs some rest. She needs some really important time to rest and probably stand in the sun for about uh, 45 minutes to get up over time a lack of vitamin D because vitamin D leads to so many other uh, chemical processes in the body. And when that vitamin D depression is all year long, we actually have a problem with putting in enough minerals into our bones to make it through this part of the year. And that's part of what leads to sickness. It's what leads to illness. It, it even is what leads to injury in us and in our animals. That lack of vitamin D has to, has to be addressed way back in March. Not even, and probably in February, way back then because that's when our body starts to utilize that vitamin D to store up enough minerals to make it through this part of the year. We're already two out of the three big holidays that celebrate the coming of darkness. Well, actually two of them are the coming of darkness and one is the coming of light. That's right. These last two holidays, Halloween and Thanksgiving, are set up to celebrate, you know, that we've harvested a bunch of stuff and that we've, we've got lots of stuff in storage. But if we don't have enough minerals in storage, then we might not make it to that third holiday that is a celebration of, hey, it's getting lighter out by a minute and a half every day. That's right. I'm Dr. Amy Hayek, president and co-founder at Animal Chiropractic Education Source, where we train veterinarians and chiropractors to build successful animal chiropractic practices. And one of the biggest things that we do is teach them to, to recognize when their patients need a little bit more, when their patients need to be adjusted more often, when their patients need to be new, need better nutrition, and when those patients might need more help with regular medicine. But one of the things we also recognize is that traditional medicine is oftentimes just covering up or quieting down the information that the body's trying to do. It's trying to heal from something. So in February, March, April, May, all those sunnier months of the year, if we're quieting the body's ability to try to heal, then by this time of year, that body has to work even harder to get rid of it, and it's much more susceptible to the symptoms. That's right, those symptoms are now gonna be much harder to get rid of because there's just not enough stored up. The body hasn't stored enough, you know, calcium and magnesium and zinc. Think of it like you just don't have enough in your pantry, and all of your friends come over for Thanksgiving and you weren't expecting them. What are you gonna feed them? That is exactly what's happening to those bodies right now when they don't have enough stored up. So for those of you who are experiencing a little bit of holiday depression today, it's more than likely a combination of, I didn't store up enough stuff and I didn't take enough time off to rest so that my body can heal. And with those things in mind, a chiropractic adjustment is one of the best ways to help Get rid of some of those waste products of that depression. Get rid of some of those waste products of the healing process. So chiropractic isn't a, you know, some doctors get kind of upset when we talk about how chiropractic can fix so many things. Chiropractic doesn't fix anything by itself. But the body can do so many of those things on its own when we make it possible. And when we do things like help it get rid of waste products more efficiently in a way that doesn't kill the rest of the body, then the body does really, really well. So for those of you who are considering that your animal patients are dropping like flies, 
keep in mind that some of them will. They just can't be saved or they, they just need to be able to be let go gracefully. But others probably could help be saved or helped with a chiropractic adjustment. That chiropractic adjustment will help them get rid of those waste products that they've been holding on to all year and that keep getting pushed down because we give them something to get rid of their fever instead of helping them through the fever. With, those, with a chiropractic adjustment, they'll be able to get rid of those waste products more e- efficiently in a way that the body normally gets rid of things so that they might be able to make it through this rough time. And then they'll be able to make it into the lighter part of the year where healing is also helped with storing more vitamins and minerals, storing more of those things that they need to be able to function like the animal that they are. If you're a veterinarian or a chiropractor who at this time of year finds it a little depressing, a little sad, one of the things that we have found many of our graduates have done is they have changed the way that they think about their practice. And it has helped them to be happier. It's helped them to be more productive. It's helped them to continue to serve the animals that they love in a way that also brings more joy to them. And when we see that kind of solution, we think it's kind of a win-win. If you are at all interested in adding animal chiropractic to your practice or in looking for someone who can do animal chiropractic in your practice, we really recommend finding us at animalchiropracticeducation.com. For, for some of you who are on that verge of, I can't do this anymore because it's dark and everybody's sad and, the, and we don't recognize that because, I mean, look at me today, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day, it's not 100 degrees out, but that seasonal depression is a definite thing and people experience it on a regular basis. And let's face it, all of us veterinarians have that kind of mindset at some point. We all go through, everybody goes through imposter syndrome a little bit. And don't tell me they don't. Even the greats out there who you know their names and they're famous go through some of that. It, you're not alone. But what many of our, what many of our graduates find is that adding animal chiropractic and becoming an animal chiropractor saved not just their animals' lives, it saved their lives too. If you would like some help with that, find us at animalchiropracticeducation.com. And today, or this week, you'll find on the podcast, Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter, a really great interview between Dr. O and one of our graduates who talks exactly about how that helped his life. It changed his life, it changed his marriage, it changed, um, it changed his whole career and it helped him also to grapple with that idea that he put a lot of time and money into being a veterinarian. How can you stop doing that? If you would like to find more information about that, you can find it at wherever you listen to your podcasts. So Spotify, uh, Hulu, I don't know where all the podcasts are. I don't listen to Amazon. Um, but it's Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter with Dr. Amy. Not with Dr. Amy, with Dr. O. <laughs> Sorry. Dr. O does those because he's got that time and the chatter thing going. So um, you can also find them on our website at the clinic website, All Creatures Every Spine. So if you would like some information, if you think it will help you or a friend, go find that podcast I'll post it in the comments. You can find it posted on our Facebook page tomorrow because it'll be going up tomorrow. It's at Animal Chiropractic um, Clinic Chatter. And you can find it at All Creatures Every Spine. You can also find it on our, our Facebook page for Animal Chiropractic Education Source. If you're a veterinarian or chiropractor who would like to help those animals in your practice now, 
Find us at animalchiropracticeducation.com. Cheers, guys.